Hey guys, it's Stephanie. I'm Trey. This is your weekly dose of BS. I have a sad update for you. What? I've been bullied enough. By who? You? By your, well, yes. For this pink be. hair, and I'm having it dyed back brown well, next good. Tuesday. Because my friend Amanda went to this charity event with us yesterday, uh, and I went to dinner with her last night. And if this is I me, said, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and I said, what do you think about Trey's hair? She was like, I was shocked when I saw him. I told him I liked it. But in all honesty, he you needs have, to go back. You have only been so mean to me about this. Because, <laughs> Trey, I just want you to do the right thing and be a brunette again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going back. You know, I liked it better when it was like hot pink. And now that it's lighter, I'm not really into it. So... Yeah. Back to brunette we go. What do you mean, yeah? Well, no, it's turning, like, the top part, I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, the top part is actually turning brown. It, well, it's getting more of, like, a copper color now. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think the fading is working for you. It's better. It's better. So this week, okay, so my husband has, this is kind of depressing, but whatever. Oh. So Travis has mom and dad passed this year and he has been having dreams about his mom like every oh. night right like every night my mom oh. does this like dream class that she volunteers for it's like a, a bible class mm -hmm. and um anyway so she's now having him write down his dreams so her like the guy that runs the company can like decipher what's going on because he's done stuff for presidents and anyways like all these dream interpretations like a dream interpreter uh-huh oh yeah but he like does like uh, like it's very he's like a religious so it's like a okay. religious thing yeah. where they pray about it and then they but they've like he's done it for tons of like heads of state tons of people mm -hmm. anyway so I think he's really you know obviously missing his mom right now because she's in his dream every night and I was like I think that's her coming to you and trying to give you peace because they're not bad dreams they're actually kind of positive dream like he says he feels very at peace with them yeah so anyways he told us what, what, like what happens in the dreams. Is it just I like mean, her like, visiting him? He'll just see her. Okay. Like he'll be like visiting, he'll be like in another country and he'll like see her there. And she'll mm. like kind of show up. But she's like it's she's like very happy. It's a very happy moment. Like he's crying. It's it's yeah, it's um hmm. so anyways, but he's having a lot of dreams about his mom. Well, his favorite thing in the world that she makes and something that honestly I do not eat. I'm gonna you know, I never <laughs> was like, give me that recipe because I don't even when I go even when I went and visited them, like I would have a salad and kind of pick the noodles. But Travis loves a tuna noodle casserole. I do not love tuna. It's too fishy for me. Do you yeah. like tuna? No, the chicken of the sea is not for me. Not for me either. So, but he loves a tuna noodle casserole. Every time we went to Oregon, his mom would make a tuna noodle casserole. And he and the kids were so excited. And I was like, oh my goodness, oh. what am I going to eat? Um, because I just don't like tuna. No. Uh, anyway, so. Especially, I don't like a casserole. I love Let a casserole. Let alone throw tuna I in there. I love, I can make, Ooh. if you guys want some casserole recipes, let me know. Um, I love a casserole because I grew up eating casseroles, but don't like tuna that much. Anyway, so his sister and I got um, together and she gave me his mom's tuna noodle casserole and I made it for him two days ago. I told you guys last time I was cooking, I was trying new things. I made the tuna noodle casserole. The kids and him loved it. They said I didn't use the right breading because I used panko and not breadcrumbs or whatever. <laughs> Don't be rude, children. Um, wow. But so I have to switch Tough it up. Critics. But anyway, so yeah, so that's my new thing. So every week I'm making what like at least recipes? like two new things. That's nice of you. Right? I know. I was like, you've yes. come a long way from being the crock pot lady. Yes, and then I ate. A little frozen mill because I was like, I <laughs> <laughs> still hate tuna. I still don't like tuna. Oh. So here you go, guys. This is for you. Well, so what does the dream interpreter said about Travis's dreams? We're, we're collecting them and then okay. we're going to give them to her. Ooh. So every time he wakes up in the morning, you if you ever want him to decipher a dream, let me know. Oh. So every time he wakes up in the morning, if he has a dream, he'll tell me. And then I'm like, okay, get your yeah. memo. A little voice like, recorder little out. voice recorder out. Record everything that happened. Because you know with dreams, you kind of remember it right yeah. like in the beginning. And then as the day goes on, you totally forget. So he's like doing voice memos for all of his dreams. And then he's going to get them interpreted. Interesting. I, I think it's his mom trying to talk to him. Though. I think so, too. That was I my really first do. thought. I was really like, do. This is, there's something more to this. Interesting. Yes, because she, I mean, they were really close. She passed away. And I really do think people who pass on can visit you in your dreams like oh, to yeah. comfort you. So I think she is trying to communicate. I don't know what because he says she doesn't talk on a lot of them. Like she'll just sit there and like be, you know, just. It might be just like a touch point of like. Yeah. Like I'm know, still here for you. Yeah. 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 It's very oh. interesting. Yeah. 
I don't usually remember my dreams unless Zach pisses me off in my dream, and then I vividly remember <laughs> what he did to make me mad. So every night I go to bed, and I'm like, good night, don't piss me off. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I've if you do, I'll let you know. I've had this, too, where, like, and it'll be, like, specific people, like, from Travis's past, like, his ex-girlfriends, and I'm like, damn it, you're cheating on me with your ex-girlfriend. Um, like, it'll be very specific. Like, I know the girl. It's never, like, a random girl. It is a girl that I know who is sleeping with my husband. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't have those that often though. I feel like Do you usually, remember your dreams normally? Sometimes, but I'm all there's always something. I'm I think I've said this before in the podcast. I have dreams of like people dying all the time. Mm, or like checked. myself. That's... Yeah, like I think I'm scared <laughs> of death, like of people dying or of me dying. There's a fear of death or something. I'll have to have this dream interpreter for And that's it like out. a reoccurring dream for you? I have those quite I mean, oh. not like every day, but have I will I say died? like once a, um yeah, you did oh, once. <laughs> what happened to me? <laughs> you were like trying to scale a wall. Nope, wouldn't and, do that. <laughs> and you and I was trying to help you and then and you just that like yeah, well anyways, and you did fall and it was you were splatter. It was there's was no way you made uh, it. Um, and you know it was probably like, Hey, will you go get that? <laughs> it's like it was definitely you encouraged me to scale the wall. I know that for a <laughs> fact. That, wasn't that even there. looks like fun. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a Go shot. do it. Let me know how it goes. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, yeah. not doing that. <laughs> but no, I do remember. It was like, yes, I've had like one of you. I have one of everybody that I really like. Oh my they, gosh. Yes, it's crazy. Yes. I had a dream recently where I was at fault in this dream. And I woke up the next day and I was like, <gasps> Zach can't find out about this. And I was like, I don't know how he's going to find out about this. But in my dream, I was like, Zach can't know about this. And then it just bothered me all day. And then I didn't do anything with it. I, of course, didn't tell him. I was like, no way, Jose. I made a crucial mistake last night. A what? I showed, like, all my cards. Zach and I were talking about he's having this disagreement at work. And I was like, here's how you win an argument. And I was like, you do this, this, and this. And he was like... Oh, my God. That's what you do to me whenever we fight. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <sighs> so now what I do have you to do? Go give me the three things. I can't. No. I've already showed no. too much. No. I've already, give them to I'll the give, audience. No. They're, no. It's I'll, too, it's I will, too ear, good. I'll do earmuffs. It's I'll do earmuffs. It's too good. I'll, no, I'm not worried about you. <laughs> it's like other people that listen to this that I regularly fight with. Like my dad. Like I know how to win an argument with him. And it's just, yeah. Okay. To, well, one, you know, a good way okay. is, and this this I took this note from Cameron Westcott. It's very annoying, and that's why you do it because it, it pisses the people off until the point of exhaustion is uh -huh. you, you just run that hamster wheel. Yeah, that's you run not, that hamster. Wheel. That makes people. And I told Zach that, and he's like, "Well, I want to shoot the hamster." I was like, oh, <laughs> "How dare you?" Okay, so hamster wheel is one. Yes, that's well, it. That's, that's all I'm giving. But that doesn't make make you right. Them out. Well, yeah, <laughs> to but where th eventually there's no resolution. They're just like no, you oh. are dumb, and I'm out of here. Oh no, this isn't going towards resolution. This is just going towards like, yeah. Anyway, you know what Travis does? What this is what he does whenever like he's annoyed or mad at me or anybody, e e even like family or whatever. He does like my least favorite thing, which is not like I'm mad at you. I'm so disappointed. disappointed. I hate that. Mm. There's nothing worse than people mm -hmm. being like I am so disappointed in you. But you know what? Have you let him know that you hate that? No, I just ignore. Now oh, I can. Okay. No, I just am like, well, me too. I'm disappointed. In <laughs> I'm <story>. also disappointed. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no. I'm equally disappointed. <laughs> and you're like, okay. <laughs> I think he does that yeah. at work too. Now that I've been at work, he, I've heard him say that. I'm just disappointed. I'm like, oh, that's just some sucks. business coach somewhere told him. To Somebody say that. told him, yes, because yep. then you just fit. it's like you're a kid and you let your dad down or your mom down or something. It's yeah, yeah. it's not good. Yeah, it is not good. But that's his thing. I'm trying to think of what I do. Whenever he's mad at me, I just revert back to every time he's ever done anything wrong <laughs> and bring that back up. <laughs> that's healthy. <laughs> it is so healthy. <laughs> and then we spiral. It's like the hamster wheel that you're talking about. Yeah. And then he gives up. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's what I do. I'm. I think I'm a little passive aggressive. Like if I don't feel like uh, I'm winning something. What do you mean you think? Well, I know I am. But I will be like, you did this, 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 this. So how dare you? And on June you? 7th of yep. 2017, you said, yep. Yep. So, yep. I'm very good about, I can remember a conversation and recite it and like in direct quotes. Zach cannot. And I'm like, ha ha, I've got you. Oh, and so I that's, cannot. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I like, I know what you said and I remember it and I've stored it here. I'm going to save it for later in case I need it. 
only the important ones. You would be a good housewife, though, because that's like the number one thing that I was really, really struggling with whenever I did the show. I could never remember anything that happened. Like, I would have a conversation with someone. They would be acting crazy. And I could not tell you what was said because I was so stressed out. Um, no, and even that, right after seeing him, like, what'd she say? And she's like, uh, uh, well, and I'm like, what? We need this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No idea. Brandy, however, could tell yes. you every single thing verbatim that everybody mm-hmm. said. Mm-hmm. And yep. then somebody told me I should go home immediately and write it all down. But I couldn't remember five minutes after. Yeah. So there's no <laughs> way. I was like, Brandy, what happened? I just hope she's accurate. <laughs> Yeah. But that also is hard whenever we did confessionals because they would ask how you're feeling. And I'm like, I don't even remember what happened. Um, And then I'd have them kind of tell me what happened so I could think about, okay, what's the best way to do it? What are you looking at? I'm looking at our stories. Okay. Speaking of Brandy, I, everyone always asks about her in the story. I did go and see her new house Sunday. Ah. I went with Travis. It was the first time I've seen her house. She's um, kind of like they're moved in a little bit. Like they're slowly moving in. It just got finished. It is beautiful. Oh, good. It is so beautiful. I saw it. I went with our producer, Mike. Oh, gosh. I don't know. A long time ago. But it was like, we could kind of see what it was going to be, but it was yeah. still very much like halfway in the sheetrock phase. But it's a, it's a big boy. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Like every, like all the light fixtures, everything. It's It looks amazing, amazing, amazing. We literally just sat on the counter and drank wine as our husbands watched. I don't know if it was football, basketball. I don't know what's going on right now, but whatever mm. sport is going on, they watched it. Um, but yes, um, so for those of you asking, I get that like every day almost. Um, <laughs> I'm like, how's Brandy? I'm like, because she's not really. People ask me that too. I'm like, message her. I, like, well, what do you mean? But I feel like because she's not know. really that, um, she's not on social media a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People always wonder about her. And uh, she just lives a more of a private life. So, yeah. but like, she's doing great. She has a beautiful house and thriving. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. It was Love good. that. Yeah. Okay. So. I sent you a TikTok the other day, and actually, I sent this to a few friends, and one of my friends was at Bucky's when I sent this, and they were like, oh my God, they were actually in the bathroom at Bucky's when I sent this. Uh-huh. The guy, well, hold on, let me, I don't want to misquote this. So, the son of one of the co founders of Bucky's was arrested on Tuesday. A Houston news station um, reported this, and then, of course, I found it on TikTok and sent it to Stephanie. So, here's what they said. New this morning, the son of the co-founder of Bucky's has been arrested after he allegedly recorded several people by using spy camera devices. According to court records, 28-year-old Mitchell Wasik is facing 28 charges of invasive visual recording. According to affidavits obtained by our sister station in Austin, two witnesses contacted the Travis County Sheriff's Office in May to report the incidents. Apparently, they found spy cameras in the bathroom of the family's house on Lake Travis. The cameras were disguised as charging ports. Another witness says she found videos of herself in the bathroom of Wasik's home in Dallas. If convicted, he faces up to two years in jail. He's now out on $280,000 bond. Now, let me tell you something I'm never going to want to do is seeing you take a poop. Wait, it was in the, the, where they poop? It was in the bathroom. Yes. He had hidden cameras in the bathroom. Why in the the world? I mean, was it where the shower is, or was it like no, right it was on the shower? I I don't know exactly. <laughs> like, All I know is no he way. had. There's 28 counts. There's 28 videos of people pooping. Why <laughs> in the world? Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. but like <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! Now are they at Bucky's? I don't know, but no, they they said it was at his. It house. was at his house, but like no, 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 it was at the lake house. But he also has a house in Dallas, uh, and this is where he was. He was arrested in Dallas. So and they were didn't they say it was at his house in Dallas too? He's yes, like has yes. cameras everywhere. Yeah, listening to people. I hope you have a microphone. <laughs> I want you better you better feel that eruption when you watch that video <laughs> because what I, don't I just think can't imagine. The, I don't think it's from the wall to the pooper. I think <laughs> it's where I the shower is. There's no way it is like it's going towards the shower. Oh, it's where people are showering. I guarantee you. I'm gonna have to do a deep dive into this. There's no well, that's way. Weird. He's like, still. I want to see you. Taking a poop. Push. Yes, you push your poop. Yeah, there's no way. And we're not even supposed to be talking about poop because we are not that kind of podcast. Remember, Uh, we are not going to get in trouble. We would like to issue a formal (laughs) apology. (laughs) Nobody is going to want to do business with us (laughs) if we are that kind of podcast, okay? That's true. So, yeah, we have standards now. We have standards. Okay, so I worked in a clothing store Uh when I was like a junior or senior in high school. And... 
there was a lot of theft in this store, like from the dressing rooms. Uh huh. And one of the owners put a camera that faced inside of the dressing room. Uh. And I had a major problem with it. What? And, yeah. That's like, that's illegal. Like, oh, right? very. Yes. Very. To the point of like, where I was like, I'm not going to be, I'm not touching that. And I left the store because I was like, that's wrong. And I told people, I was like, D- don't try on clothes there because they're watching you. <laughs> like, it was Just spray a it gross, fits and bring it back if it doesn't. It was a gross situation. Now, if there was a camera in the pooper, oh, sorry, the P-O-O-P-E-R, <laughs> um, you know record all day long i don't i <laughs> get that audio if you want it like i don't know but you've had didn't you, okay someone so you i know have, have a situation story like this? i have a story about this someone that was a cast member of mine i don't know if she wants me to say her name so anyways but she used to work out at the well actually it's like a very known thing this guy actually i know like i think he went to i know he went to jail i don't know if he's still there or what happened with this case mm. but allegedly <laughs> um so he did like all of these it was like supermodel like Benton supermodel um workouts right and people mm-hmm. from all over came like she said Victoria's Secret models like all of oh, these I like remember huge this. huge like models came yep. because he could give you like this model figure mm-hmm. and um and uh like he was booked and busy and he only took certain people too mm-hmm. like he would not take just anybody I guess so I mean I never worked out with him because I am you know I like my cheese um but <laughs> uh the girls, one of the girls came in, I think she was a pageant girl, and she was showering, Well, also, and she went to move, I think it was like the shampoo or conditioner. I know this girl. And there, you do. Well, you've met her. What? Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, and um, she moved the <laughs> shower, and there was a little, I think it was like one of those, you know, that you put on your, if you're skiing, Like a little GoPro? A little GoPro yep. in the showers. Mm-hmm. He was videotaping girls, recording girls showering. Um, my friend said that, like, some of the, like, younger, like, hot girls, he would do videos, and he would buy them outfits to wear, and he would tell them what dressing rooms to go into, like, certain girls, and have them change. And he has cameras. He had cameras like all over that place. Ew. And these girls, some of these girls are very young. I mean, they're like pageant girls, girls modeling. Those are a lot of times very young girls. And he got caught. And I know that um, he was in jail. I don't know what happened. I really haven't like followed up with the case. But um, I mean, he went from being very, very, very booked to like. It's literally booked. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah like in another in way. In jail. Yeah. Yes, but I think that happens a lot more than people realize. Yeah, that's gross. L- moral so, of the story is don't yes. be a pervert, allegedly. Yes, it's so crazy. But he was, yeah, don't, don't, don't that's do it. Weird. Don't record people. Yeah, especially on the pooper. I don't even know what I would do if somebody recorded me on the P-O-O-P-E-R. Um, oh, sorry, I keep saying it. It's yeah. a bad word. I mean, like a little shock I will collar. tell you what my family would be doing, everyone but me. They would have their iPads, and they just, they're in there for like 30 minutes. I'm like, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long video. Like, I will hear all, yeah, I, I swear they, like, go in there and, like, they have, like, a series they want to watch and they just sit there and, yeah. You know, most TikToks are watched on the toilet. That makes, I mean, yeah, I guess. I just, well, no, sometimes I do take my phone with me to scroll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I, if sometimes I, you just, like, a leisurely P-O-O-P. <laughs> yep, exactly, yep. exactly, yep. I agree, I agree. So... But yes, um, that's crazy. So that's not the first time I've heard this happen. Okay, Trey, I sent you a story the other day because you do mm, real estate. Yes. And it was very, very shocking. And it is, I believe it's in California. Yep. In and, Brentwood. Yes. And it is a lady who is like kind of taken over some guy's house. And are we going to play that one too for yeah. the audience? Okay. So anyways, listen to this. It's crazy. An Airbnb tenant is refusing to leave after overstaying her welcome at a luxurious guest home in L.A. unless she gets paid $100,000. Elizabeth Hirshhorn booked a long-term stay at Dr. Sasha Jovanovich's guest house in September of 2021 until the spring, bringing her rent total to over $20,000. But since April 2022, she's still been living at the home rent-free and refuses to leave unless she gets her requested six-figure relocation fee from Jovanovich, according to the L.A. Times. Though Jovanovich has been trying to evict her and has sought help from the city and lawyers, it's not that simple. Hirshhorn had reached out to the Department of Buildings and Safety, which found violations. An unpermitted shower, 
and that the unit was not approved for occupancy. After she sent these to the city's housing investigator, the investigator reportedly concluded that Jovanovic had to withdraw his eviction notice until the unit was in compliance since its current status violated city codes. But according to the LA Times, Jovanovic also alleges that Hirshhorn blocked him from accessing the home to retrieve necessary permits and to make repairs. And because Hirshhorn had stayed in the home for over six months, the outlet points out that she qualifies for LA's Just Cause Ordinance, which basically states, the landlord is required to pay for relocation assistance if there are no legal grounds for eviction. That is where Hirshhorn's request for $100,000 comes in. For more on this story, head to dailymail.com. Well, I would just like to say that California is stupid. <laughs> that great. Okay, so I saw that and I was like, I I don't even know what I would do, first of all. You know what? I would just make their life miserable. I would like move in there and I would never let them have a moment to themselves. I would play like loud mute. I would just be so annoyed. I'd cut off the water. Would... Like, <laughs> like the shower's a problem? Not pay any no bills. problem. <laughs> like, cut would... it off. Make it so miserable that they would want to leave. Now, this is a so this is the guest house of a very large house. Yes, the house is massive in the in the video. So it's like this very wealthy guy. First of all, now I will never, ever, ever do like a VRBO. I will never. I had no idea you could do this. But also paying somebody a hundred thousand dollars to relocate that is crazy. That is insane. That like the, what kind of world do we live in where you just get to stay there rent free because there was no like what and a hundred thousand dollars to relocate I'm I go back to my first statement that California is stupid <laughs> that's nuts I mean okay so I do have this cousin in Oklahoma and I have like he has had to get rid of squatters because he would go, okay, so if you live in Oklahoma, this is something you should know if you want some property that you may or may not have squatters in. <laughs> um, but once a year, they have like a tax sale. Have you heard of this? I don't know if yes. it's everywhere. Yes. And you can buy, I mean, he's bought in homes for like 2000 a 1000 $2,000. Mm -hmm. Now, they're not nice homes. Do not let me lie to you. And you can't <laughs> see them before you get them. You can like maybe drive by, but you can't go inside. So it is, it's like, And you what know, you're paying is the unpaid property tax. Yes. So it's like, property tax, like where you're buying stuff. Yeah. And there have been multiple homes that he has bought where there have been some squatters. Um, and there is a big process. So if somebody is squatting in your house, like it's a long it takes, process. Yes. It's a, it's quite the process to get them out. Um, but I've never heard of anything like this. We have to pay a hundred. Do we have that in Texas where like, if you No. um, what I did learn when I was doing like all my real estate courses is that if, there is a home or a piece of land that you own. So say you had like land, you know, four hours away and you just let it sit there, never did anything with it. And someone moved onto that land and built themselves a home and you didn't know for 10 years, I want to say. Uh -huh. And then on year 11, you're like, wait, there's someone in my home. That person now owns your land and that home. Oh, that's yep. interesting. Mm-hmm. That's really interesting. Like, there's like a deed transfer that they can they can apply for the deed to be transferred to them because they've lived there for so long and you've done nothing about it. That is so crazy. So yeah, that's just that's so wild. There is um, a house for sale over by us. Actually, it's a duplex, and um, I had scheduled a showing there a few weeks ago, and the real estate agent called me and was like, "Hey." Um, I wouldn't go like we're basically trying to sell it sight unseen. And I was like, why? And she's like, well, it was it's bank owned. The bank is my client and the bank evicted this guy. But he broke back into his house. Oh, and he has a bat. And so the bank is now selling it with him in it. Wait, he has a bat? Yes, like he's like dangerous. <laughs> like a like a bat? he'll hit you like with a... a bat if you try to go oh, into the house. Oh, I thought like a not like a, a pet, pet bat. bat. No, <laughs> I was like, wait, are those that dangerous? <laughs> COVID. Like you have to you have know? the bat. So you have yep. to. <laughs> so they're selling so the wait, house because the he's... bank is like we're not dealing with the foreclosure process because it is. It's a, you could basically live anywhere for ninety days rent free. Is okay, how so. But this wait, works. so then they're going to have to worry about this man with the bat. Correct. <laughs> Nobody, do not so buy no this house. So no one wants it. <laughs> like, so the bank is trying to sell it. They're selling it. I mean, you can make some good money on this house, but you have to get the man out yourself. The bank is like, <laughs> we're not dealing with it. You buy it, you handle it. <laughs> there's no, actually, I will say if there's one person that I know that can handle it, I think Travis could take care of it.
I really Travis I know how, would but make, he oh. would he would make it to where that man would be like oh. that man has nothing but time and money to make oh, your yeah. life miserable. <laughs> but, he is one person you don't want to piss yeah, off in the he world. He would take out billboards. He oh. would do oh yeah, <laughs> do I mean, everything. He would he would buy a basket of skunks oh, yeah. and just send them in and be <laughs> like, go afraid. for it. Like oh, yeah. every day he'd think of something new to just terrorize. And you know, it's a it's a he's a good friend to Maybe have I for that have reason. Travis. Go handle it. Buy yeah. this house. Yeah, just to I know. See. And I'll give you guys detailed information of what we yep. do every week. Today he released a thousand crickets. <laughs> Do you imagine? <laughs> no, actually, unfortunately, I could, yes. Well, yeah. Yeah, I really could. He'd yes. have a fun time with it. He would 100%. He would 100% <laughs> have a fun time with it. Eventually, that man would run out screaming. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we really talked about nothing. No, I feel like, um, we, but... <laughs> I feel like we just got started. Oh, wow. <laughs> huh. But um, next week, I have nothing going on next week either. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to think of some good things to oh, talk God. about. <laughs> for like, you. What, <laughs> when can I share... My story that Not I've been wanting to share forever. For a while, Travis. Why? I feel like I it's been so long. Yeah, I have to. You have to ask Travis's. Permission. Is the lawsuit done yet? I don't. Is it a lawsuit? No, it's not. But oh. you have to ask Travis's permission because I do not want him to get annoyed with us. I'm going to ask him. He already gets annoyed with me enough. So then I need you to say, "Can I share this it's private a, I have thing?" Have such a good story. It's, it's not even. Mm, it's not even that private. It mm. is. Private-ish, but no, it has to be. He has to give right. you the okay. You have to say. Tr- you have to call him. If and everyone say, could please message Travis. Can and I say, please Let Trey share, share the, the story? story. Um, and he says, "Okay, I just don't want it to come back on me." And if he says, "Okay," then you can do it. But I don't want yep. him to be like Stephanie. What are you doing? This is a good story. Yes. I mean, it is a good story. It it's is a really good story. It's, it's going to be a whole episode on its own. I mean, it's like so if everyone could please message. At Travis, is that his name? At Travis Holman on Instagram? Yeah, I just go in there and say, and say I, let Trey show the story. <laughs> well, he won't even know what you're talking about. You have to call him and say, can I please share Okay, everyone, this? go on Holman.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, do not. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> if we get a million emails, <laughs> there, are, there are important things going on. If there are 500 emails about some, like, please let sh- Trey share this story. <laughs> He is going to kill me. <laughs> then he, you will be the man with the bat. He will literally unleash all the crickets in your house. Yeah, congratulations. Let that man into my house. Yes. Do not, I repeat, do not go to Holman.com and email Travis, please, um, about this. Just email, message Trey and push him to message my husband. Okay, that's, that, that's how it needs to happen. You're so ridiculous. Uh. I mean, okay, yes. Well, on that so note, uh, now I'm highly concerned for my husband this week. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you guys. And you know what? He doesn't even get the emails. It's going to go to his, our poor marketing team, which your friend works in. <laughs> oh, so, I digress. Yes. Um, anyway, thanks for supporting, guys. <laughs> Don't email my husband or the marketing team, please. Uh, you can follow me at Steph Holman on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all the things. You can follow me at Trey underscore Stewart. You can follow our podcast at BS the Podcast. And you can watch us on YouTube at Weekly Dose of BS. Bye. Bye. Yay, networks.